So hello guys welcome. In this video we'll see how to install ENP files in an ENP reader. So sometime in your ENP you might get this double message that data is not on device superseded by new addition. That means a new addition has come out for this particular ENP. Although you have a valid license but still you might not be able to open this because you don't have the data for that particular ENP. Second, sometime you might just get a normal message data not on device. So any of this message might be displayed and you might be required to download the latest or recent ENP file. So for that there is one free site. This is the site. I'll paste the site's link in the description box. You can go to this website and before joining also you can download the full latest up to date ENP files through here in a zip format. It will be helpful for the on joining second mates. If not, you can just go to this site and download the ENP file which you are required like for example now ENP5 and ENP64 both of them we are required. I have downloaded them ENP5, ENP64, ENP234B all this three I have downloaded them and kept them on desktop. Now there is one small thing many people normally try to open this file because this looks like a PDF file and they normally would ask the password for this file. Remember these files are PDF file but they will not open in any PDF reader Adobe or any reader and there is no such password. They will only open once you have a valid license for that particular ENP and they will only open in your ENP reader nowhere else. So now to install a ENP file in your ENP reader there are two methods. First method is this. We have to create a folder name publications. The name must be exactly like this. P must be capital, rest all letters must be small. We have to create name of the folder in exactly in such a manner. Create a folder on desktop, paste all your files which you want to update in your ENP reader and you have the license for them. Then go to tools. In tools load ENP, we'll click on load ENP over here and then in here we'll select the files for which we have license and which are present on our desktop. So in media I'll go click next and here you can see I've selected the files which I have downloaded and kept on my desktop in my folder publications. Only those three files I've selected, rest all is unselected. So I'll click over here, come over here, browse, now desktop and I'll just click next all the files will be loaded. Now there is an error with this ENP number 5. Once I'll re try to re-upload this, this will also get uploaded. Now here again I'll show you my second attempt where I'll try to reload my ENP number 5 which was not loaded in previous. So again I'll be doing the same things. Go to load ENP, click next, media. Now. In my publications folder, I have only copied this ENP file. Rest all files I have deleted them. So only one single file is present. So I'll just select my publication folder. Click OK and try to load this file this time. And you can see this time it will be loaded. That's it. But now sometime it might happen that even after trying to load from this publications folder, even after doing everything right, you might not be able to load the ENP files even after you have the license. So the second method is that you put your file in your empty pen drive. Take an empty pen drive like for example this ENP file number 136 which you want to install. So now I've copied this file in my pen drive. There is no folder nothing in just empty folder. I've just uh, pasted my file. That's it. So I'll, uh, here also the procedure will be same. I've clicked media select my file. My file is ENP 136 select browse and then just choose your pen drive that's it in your pen drive do not make any fold that's it and here you can see that in even in an empty folder if you put your file that file can be taken from there so these are the two methods to install the ENP in your ENP reader that's it thank you